Good morrow, Stefan. It's Monday, December 14th, and today I mourn the death of this light bulb. And I regret to inform you that there are currently no other light bulbs in the house, so today's video comes to you lit only by computer screen. As per your request, Stefan, I am here once again to speak on the subject of music. And as far as I understand, I'm not allowed to do anything off the wall with the topic. For as long as I can remember, my life has revolved around music in some way. My mom is a singer and songwriter, so for the entire length of time that I've been alive, she's been writing, recording, and releasing her own music. From a very early age, I was exposed to that creative process, and I believe that influenced who I would eventually become in regards to my almost unhealthy obsession with needing to create music all of the time. Especially in high school, I had these aspirations and dreams of someday becoming a very successful professional musician. And looking back at it now, I feel that the biggest reason that I didn't directly pursue that goal after high school was because my father sort of killed that dream for me by convincing me that it was unrealistic to expect to subsist as a musician it just wasn't a viable lifestyle in his eyes. So I instead, after high school, pursued filmmaking as a career choice, which my father was also initially unsupportive of. But I've never lost that drive for creating music. I have never stopped creating music. All the while that I was in film school, I was writing music, and I really don't think that it's anything that's ever going to stop. I find inspiration for creating music in everything. It could be something that I see in my day-to-day -day life, it could be something that I hear someone say. Even listening to other music inspires me to write music. And if you think about it, isn't it just fascinating that I can think of a melody in my head, I can play that melody with any sort of instrument, and that causes vibrations to move through the air, travel into your eardrum, where you will hear and perceive the same melody that was cognitized in my head. That's just it's mind-blowing. I'm communicating with you in an abstract language by moving air. And then think about every commercially successful musical act. Um, the Beatles, Fall Out Boy, Linkin Park, U2, Slipknot, Maroon 5, it doesn't matter. All these people get paid lots of money to move air around. Seriously, how rad is that? I went digging through my hard drives to see if I could find the oldest song that I had ever written from back when I first started writing my own stuff in uh, seventh grade, I think, so I was 12. That was almost half my life ago. I found one of my old songs called Synapsis, and I know that there are at least two songs that are older than this one, but I can't find either of those. So here's a little clip of one of my first songs, Synapsis. 